Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Tech Showdown. I'm still sick. This is my co-host Teddy and today we're checking out the Ryzen 3 1300X, a very popular CPU, going up against the Intel i3-8100. So both of these are cheap quad-core CPUs. So you guys, I'm still uh, not feeling the best, as you can probably tell. I'm honestly not as pretty as usual either. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's, it just is what it is. I'm trying to get over it, guys, so I'm sorry about that. But I really wanted to make this video for you today because uh, I thought you would really enjoy it as both of these CPUs are very popular and you know they fit in the price ranges of most of you guys out there. So let's jump right into it then and talk about the specs of these two CPUs. So the 1300X here is a 14 nanometer, 4 core or quad core, 4 thread CPU coming in with a 3.5 gigahertz base clock and a 3.7 gigahertz boost clock. It also has a 65 watt TDP. The i3-8100 is also 14 nanometer and is also a 4 core, 4 thread CPU. It's coming in with a clock speed of 3.6 gigahertz and it also has a 65 watt TDP. So these two CPUs are very similar. Now let's talk about the test rigs then. So the 1300X here was tested with the ASUS X370 uh, Prime Pro motherboard or some say Prime X370 Pro, just depends on how you want to say it. Uh, it's a very good entry level, probably the best entry level X370 motherboard. The 8100 here was tested with the MSI Z370 Gaming Pro Carbon motherboard, which I absolutely love. That's a great Z370 and I really enjoy it. Now both of them were tested with 16 gigabytes of G-Skill DDR4 memory at 2933 megahertz for all the tests. Both were tested with my personal graphics card, the MSI Gaming X GTX 1080 Ti. And both were tested with their stock box coolers, which, you know, is enough for both of these CPUs. So I thought that was fair because many people buying these CPUs will just be using the coolers that come with them in the box. And both coolers are adequate for these CPUs, as you'll see very soon. So that in mind, let's talk about the overclocking. So you cannot overclock the 8100. There's not much we can talk about there. The 1300X overclocks up to 3.9 gigahertz, so not really much of an overclock over that default boost clock, um, and that's pretty typical for a Ryzen CPU. You see about 3.94 gigahertz out of most of them, so that was pretty typical out of a uh, 1300X. Now, as far as the temperatures go, I ran IDA64, the CPU stress test, for five minutes. I took the highest temperature the CPUs went up to, and as you guys can see, the 1300X, very solid there, obviously gets a bit more toasty once you start overclocking it, adding in that voltage there. Uh, the 8100 also does a decent job there, a bit higher of a, a temp when you compare the two of them at stock, but that's just because the Intel box cooler isn't as good as the uh, one you get with the 1300X, the uh, uh, Wraith Stealth I believe it's called. Uh, that's a lot better than these little Intel ones, but the Intel one still does a, you know, that's a fine job, you know, mid 60s, anything in the 60 degree range, that's just fine for these CPUs. So with all that in mind, let's jump into the benchmarks. And the first thing I want to say before we get into them was uh, the 8100, there was, it ran at 3.6 gigahertz the whole time. I, I double checked, there's no, you know, enhancement or any multi-core enhancement or anything going on there was running at its 3.6 gigahertz whole time, so you don't need to worry about anything like that coming on, going on. And let's jump into the benchmarks now and see how these two CPUs perform. we
back. So what do we make of the benchmarks? Well, it was a pretty good win across the board for the 8100. I can't argue with the results there. The 8100 wins hands down in the benchmarks. The 1300X still puts up a good fight in some of them, but it is totally outclassed by the little i3 here. This is just a much uh, more powerful CPU at this price point, it would seem. Even the overclock 1300X could not match this uh, 8100 at its locked 3.6 gigahertz speed. So a very good win there for the 8100, which kind of surprised me. I actually thought uh, these two would be very, very close together, but the 8100 really pulled ahead in some of those benchmarks, as you guys saw. Which brings us now to the conclusion. What do I make of these two CPUs? So let's bring price in. So right now at Playtech in New Zealand, you can pick up the 1300X for 195 New Zealand dollars. Now if you want to pick up the i3-8100, that'll also set you back 195 New Zealand dollars. They're exactly the same price. But that doesn't tell you the whole story, because of course we've got to bring motherboards into it. So right now you can only get Z370 motherboards on the Intel side. That will change in a few months time. So that means with your little 8100 here, you're going to have to go to a Z370 motherboard. Uh, with the 1300X here, you can get a B350 motherboard, which is what I would recommend you pair with this CPU. That's going to be a lot cheaper than a Z370, generally speaking. Uh, so, all in all, it will actually end up being cheaper for you to go for the 1300X than it would to go for the 8100. That is right now. Now, to give you the other side of the argument, uh, a Z370 will have much better features than a B350, and it will also give you a really nice upgrade path further down the road, especially if you want to go up to something like an 8600K further down the road. Uh, if you get the Z370 with the 8100, that will be very good. So which do I recommend then, with all that in mind? Uh, I would pick the 8100, for those reasons I just mentioned. Sure, it's going to cost you a little bit more money. But you're going to get that extra performance. Not only that, uh, you have that really good upgrade path going forward. To go from an 8100 to an 8600, that would be a very solid upgrade. Especially if you're going to uh, overclock the 8600K, get that thing up to like 5 gigahertz. that's going to be a huge upgrade going over this guy. And that would be an extremely powerful gaming CPU. Very, very powerful. It'll last you a long time. So yeah, that's, this is the one I would pick. The 1300X still has a place. Obviously, it's the better value one. So if money's really tight, then overall, this one will cost less and it will still get you by just fine. But that is just my opinion. I wanna know what you guys think. So let me know in the comment section down below, uh, which would you pick, the 8100 or the 1300X? Let me know in the comment section. Now, I thank you all for watching this video to get today, guys. Sorry about my voice and everything, and, uh, and you know the whole, <laughs> the whole thing. It's it's been really, really annoying. I hardly ever get sick, uh, so it's just been very, very frustrating for me because I want to bring out these videos for you guys, but of course, you know I want the videos to actually look good as well. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I should be back in action now, and I hope you forgive me. Now, I thank you all for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time.